like I'm from the hood. Mm -hmm. I'm from nothing. The one thing you'll never get me to give you is an excuse. Nigga, I'll never give you an excuse. An excuse is a way out. Mm -hmm. An excuse is an option to fail. I'm never gonna give you an excuse. Never. I, you can tell me to do something I don't know how to do. I'm gonna go figure it out. I'm not gonna tell you I don't know how to. I might say I ain't gonna lie, Lewis. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. But I'm gonna go figure it out. But I'm never gonna give you an excuse. So when I'm sitting at the table with an artist, and the first thing they say, I need. You lost. We lost. Why? Because you don't need. You already have. You have. You don't need. You think you need. You don't need, but you have. Your problem is, so when you tell yourself you need something, uh -huh. that's that's telling the universe, I can't, you can't get make why this I get, happen I, until I get that. That make a lot of sense. I, bro, when I, so I was sitting in room with artists, and they was like, yo, like, I'm like, bro, it's not hard. Because I, like, like, I have all these... Like I have so many theories, but it's all based on logic. I'm a Virgo. Uh -huh. So I'm like, if I told Lewis right now to run, run as fast as you can. Uh -huh. As you like you in shape. Run as fast as you can. How far you think you're gonna get? Before you like Shit, I'ma get I'ma get there fast, but I ain't gonna No, how fast? Let's actually I'm gonna measure run it. fast, but I ain't gonna let's run actually measure fast it. Let's 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 actually measure it though. Uh -huh. If you're on a football field uh -huh. and you gotta run from one end zone to the other as fast as you can, do you think you could do it? As fast as you can. As fast as I can? Yep. Yeah, because I'm going to okay. try as Perfect. fast as I can. Great. Can you mm -hmm. do two football fields as fast as you can? Can I do two football fields as fast as I can? Yeah, because I'm going to try as fast no, as I can. No, you're saying try. You're still, trying to, you're, still trying to, you, you're still trying to eliminate the human factor. I'm trying to bring logic to the human factor. Mm -hmm. you, I'm saying you have the greatest athletes in the world. Yeah. And... They, the most they can run is a 400 yard, a 400 meter dash, right? Uh -huh. That's that's the best yeah. one, right? Yeah, yeah. So full speed, full speed, uh -huh. exactly. So can they run 15 miles full speed? No, you can't, right? No, but you can walk 15 miles. So everybody can't. Nah, you can. Everybody can't you walk, walk 15 miles. No, everybody can it's walk 15 miles. Some big motherfuckers that nah, can't they, walk 15 nah, that, miles. No, it is some big motherfuckers that can't walk 15 miles. But I'm speaking, they can walk. They might not get there in the same time you and I get there, uh -huh. but if they walk, they can get there in time. They can get there in due time. That's why I said I can help anybody win based on them, not based on my expectations, based on what you could do. Uh -huh. So that's what I'm telling you. If you if, if you could run 100 yards straight, by the time you get to that 100 yards, nigga, the greatest athletes in the world be getting the motherfucking oxygen. Why? Because they're tired. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of yards to run. Yeah. But if you walk, you can walk 1,000 yards. So I try to teach people, stop running so fucking fast and start walking. You're such in a rush to get there that you're missing out on, now you're tired. Now you're like, man, I need some oxygen. I need some help. That's why you need, because you fucking running. I got. I, I started my podcast. Uh. I pay everybody that works for me full time. Everybody that works for me, I pay my co-host. Everybody on my pod, I pay. Everybody. You know why? Because uh -huh. I make so much money in music. I was going to say, because you got a lot of money. Everybody no, no. can't start a podcast no, no. and pay everybody. No. I'm we on a budget no, at the I'm, Kelly I'm, Kickback. I'm, I'm going to show you. Are we filming? Is we? Oh shit! On. We 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 Hold filming. Why, why you why you doing that? Why uh -huh. you doing that? Uh, mm -hmm. See see this is. I'm glad you said that. See because when I have arguments with artists all the time, uh -huh. I, we do this. Artists come. This is a good way to start. This is a good way to start. Artists come to my office mm -hmm. and they argue and they talk to me. And they're like, but you need this. You need this. So I'm gonna show you something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you something as we talking. Uh -huh. I want to show you like how much of how how the kind of leader that I am to the people that's around me because I understand that someone's gonna say that to me. Right. Somebody's gonna say. Somebody that. gonna say you can't start. Nope. Somebody gonna say exactly. You can't. You don't understand. You need money to do everything. Okay. Cool. Perfect. Mm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you something. I'm like. Mm. I'm. I'm like swiping through my shit. So you know you gotta wait for this shit to upload. Oh no, it's all but good. I'm, I'm it's go. the Kelly kickback. You understand me? It's yeah, your boy Lewis Bell. We got Ray Daniels in this motherfucking man. He dropping knowledge that you can't get in college. You understand me? <laughs> oh my mama, it's no excuses. It's no excuses. We start. We started off with I'm game. A, I'm, a, I'm almost there. I'm gonna show you something. Mm -hmm. And you saying the people are gonna say because it's everybody. This this I already know. I already it's know. like the new rap game. Bro, everybody I, got a podcast. Er, now. Every, I already know. But I'm gonna show you something super important. Uh huh. Like I've been putting out content since for about since June. I'm uh -huh. gonna show you something super important. Uh huh. I want. Where's that? Here, go right here. This is one of the first pieces of content I put out. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what you. Mm -hmm. got, let me tell you what you don't notice though. The mic's not plugged in. I can tell because the echo. Stop. Exactly. Yep. The mic's not plugged in. Yeah. You can't tell. I just said, give me a mic, put it in front. You see you what right. I'm trying to say? You're right. You can find an excuse or you can find a way. You're right because I did film a lot of Cali Kickback episodes on my phone when I first started. Why too. wouldn't you? You understand me? Put it uh, sideways. You understand Come on, me? Man. Get your little stick. Throw that thing on there. A little tripod. Bro, people, 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 people don't want to win. 
people just want an excuse for why they lose. Do you think anybody can win? Because I don't think everybody. Because yes. if if everybody can, if everybody can, you didn't win, say can everybody win. You said can anybody. You said can anybody win? Anybody can win. Oh, can everybody win? Totally different. I think everybody can win, but uh -huh. wins are defined by the holder. Wins are defined by the person that's that's actually doing it. What do you consider success? Because you're a very successful person. Well, for me, my success, what I consider success is the ability to go on. Mm -hmm. The ability to stay in the game. That's success to me. Success to me ain't a number. Success to me ain't nothing. Success is just being able to walk as fast as I can uh -huh. without burning out constantly. Because you got to give God room to enter. And some people don't give God room to enter. They uh -huh. don't give him a chance to enter. They literally are like, I need it now. Okay, cool. Go get it now. I started a pot. But I couldn't, I, I started a pot and I had it based on just certain things that I had it based on. I was like, I don't, I, I'm a podcast fanatic, by the way. Like, I love pods. Me but, too. But I'm a. You can get caught up yeah. watching these motherfuckers so all much. Day. You feel like you didn't did something with your life and you realize you didn't do shit. I just been watching podcasts but, but, all but, day and I ain't did shit, but, but I learned a lot. But you learned a lot. But so for me, it's like, I'm a podcast fanatic. So mm -hmm. I, I was just like, dog, how do I learn about every podcast that I know about? I know from Instagram. I wouldn't know Math Hoffa had a podcast. I don't even know who Math Hoffa is. Yeah, I found. I out. saw clips mm -hmm. of his yep. podcast, and I was like, "Oh, this is this looks dope," and I started following it. Mm -hmm. So I stole my. I told my team, "I'm gonna start uploading clips." So for like the first, so I I didn't start a podcast until until August, but I was uploading clips in June. So I was walking outside in June, mm -hmm. and people were telling me, "Congrats on your pod." I don't have a pod. Let me show you something. I don't have a pot. I'll show, you, I'll show you this again. Look at this shit, bro. Hold on, where this shit at? Hold on, where's that? Look, it says, over my head, it says R3 executives. It says R3 executives. Why does it say that? Because I didn't have a podcast. I was like, ask me a question and put it online. That's all I'm gonna do. And then I started going out and everybody's like, yo, I love your podcast. I'm like, yeah, I don't have one though. You just love the clips that I put up on the internet. How you feel about everybody starting podcasts? Because podcasts like the rap game. I mean, we, before the cameras cut on, I know you're talking about the music industry and how that shit is overwhelming. You understand me? Now, podcasts is the, podcast is the new rap game. For sure. Well, I think, I, think, I think entrepreneurship is the new rap game. Anything that gives people a chance to be themselves and make money themselves, that's the new rap game. Anything. As long as you, because podcast just is your way of saying, put a microphone on me and I'm going to talk what I would no, normally talk about. Before the mics was on, me and you was in here just talking. Facts. That's what I'm trying to say. That's all the podcast is. We just But talking. we got shit to talk about. That's what I'm saying. But here's the thing. We got shit to talk about you, to maybe a larger you audience. You just said, if you wasn't in this music industry and you wasn't successful in this music industry, you probably wouldn't have had a podcast, right? Because I know you said you a comedian, so it makes sense why you got a show. Well, well, I, 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 I kind of disagree, and, mm -hmm. and here's why. Because in my mind, I feel like if you pay attention to what the future is, the, the future of the world is community. Mm -hmm. Here's why. Because there was one point in time where we only had a few options, mm -hmm. right? Where, you know, you, every, everything that everyone does now mm -hmm. is on demand. Mm -hmm. You can listen to every song you want to on yeah. demand. You can, yeah. Like, nobody, I, I, I love Succession. It's one of my favorite shows. I've probably only watched the series finale in real time because they didn't put it up online before it came out. Yeah. So you had to watch it. Yeah. And I still probably watched it and then came back and watched it, came back and watched it, it came back. And then I finally really watched it later. But mm -hmm. the point is, is that the world is a community. So if you can activate 1,000 people to spend $1,000, you just made a million dollars a year. So instead of, I believe that where there used to be a time where there was these titans of people, now this time where there's these smaller versions of people and the smart ones that can last, Mm -hmm. Wait, the most important thing is that they can last. Those are the be of people that create and activate a community of people that they can monetize properly. So that's why I think anybody can do a podcast. If you're doing a podcast for baby mamas, for men that's over six feet tall, at least, at least if there's a baby mama with a, a man over six feet tall, mm -hmm. She gonna be listening to your pod. You right? So Cause it's a lot of simp ass niggas that got these podcasts. Are you seeing this of right? Course. I see. I hate it by the way. And my thing is this: as much as we hate it, it's motherfuckers. Somebody like it. likes it. Yeah. It's, and that's the business. That's the side business of side of it. That's why I said, do I think anybody can work? Yes. Do I think everybody can work? I don't know, cause that's on you. But anybody can work if they just know who they talking to. That's the easiest part of the game. I used to, I was the first. I, I was the first Kevin Samuels, by the way. I can show. Uh oh, uh oh, hold no, on. No, no, I, I, no literally, literally, they watching. Before it was a before. Kevin Samuels. 
You know, no, no, before there was a podcast, uh-huh. before I knew what a podcast was, mm-hmm. 2012, I could show you clips of me online. Well, I took them all offline because uh-huh. I was saying crazy shit. And I took it all offline and I was like talking about relationships. Uh-huh. So my point is that I can give you advice on relationships, mm-hmm. entrepreneurship, all anything you want, I can give you advice on. I'm a fucking father. I'm a big brother. I've become, I made myself a millionaire, self-made with no teacher. See, I usually don't like talking about relationships without the ladies being here. You understand me? Shout out jo- uh, Jordan, Lucas, you understand me? All my, all my my lady co-host that come through the Kelly kickback and stand me but I am curious about uh, your view on relationships, you understand me? Because uh, I know you very strong minded, very business minded. I could tell you, uh, uh, I, they oversaturated this word, but it's still a real thing, man. Alpha male, you understand me? No, I, don't I, think, I, don't, I hate saying it I, now. I, I think there's more alpha females out there than there's alpha males. I agree with you Cause, on that. Because these guys. But we the last of the dying breed. Yeah, like I wish to, I can't even believe that some of these guys out here are, are allowed. Like, me personally speaking, the fact that women can over sexualize themselves mm-hmm. tells me that there's not a real nigga in her life because a real nigga will tell you put some shit on you know why because see here's the problem with the world the problem with the world is that women don't live in a world of of consequences right mm-hmm. let me tell you what i mean a woman will curse a nigga out mm-hmm. like bitch ass what the fuck you gonna do nigga? baby girl he can fuck you up yeah they don't think about consequences. As a man, if I curse a nigga out, I gotta be prepared yeah, to die prepared. or kill. Yeah, for real. Because we live in a world of consequences. Yeah. So, like, I give an example. When the Sukiyana thing happened, everybody was like, she should have a right to wear her body and no one harass her. You're right, baby girl. Mm-hmm. You are a woman. That's how you think. Mm-hmm. But as a man, you know better. If your daughter is walking out the house and her ass is out, as a man, you're gonna be like, cover that shit up or if you go, because. But the women, the women can say that's the men fault though because that's all we uh, entertain. The women always say, "Well, it's it's the men fault because men is entertaining these women. The women that's covered up and carry themselves a certain way, y'all don't show them the same attention y'all show. We show the whole." Let me ask you a question: Mm -hmm. If somebody dies that you Mm -hmm. love Mm -hmm. because they got hit by a car, honestly, they died. Do you give a fuck who fault it is? No. Somebody, somebody's dead. Yeah. See what I'm trying to say? Yeah. That's not living. In, I don't give a fuck who fault it is. Yeah. I don't care who fault it is. If 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 my when I was younger, my girlfriend got raped. Mm-hmm. She got raped at the bus. I was 19. She was 18. She got kidnapped at the bus stop and got raped. You know how she got raped? Because she was with another girl who was like, that dude just said he'll take us to the train station. They left the bus stop, got in the car. She was like, all right, I'll go with you. She got raped. Does it matter who fault it was? She got raped, bro. Yeah. It don't matter. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say about the world. We so busy trying to make sense of shit. It doesn't matter. Somebody got hurt. Somebody died. Uh-huh. Somebody got sexually harassed. It does. I'm not saying it's right, bro. If if I if you walk through Compton uh-huh. with a hundred chains on, yeah, you gotta be prepared you gotta to be get prepared. robbed. Am I right or wrong? For sure. So that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Now women would be like, well, they should not. He should be able to walk through Compton with a chain on and no one touch him. You're right, baby. In the imaginary world, but in the real world that we live in, we know you better be safe and watch your fucking back because somebody will take you out. So when I speak about relationships, the reason why I'm the reason why I say I'm an alpha male is because I don't give a fuck what a woman thinks about what I'm saying right now. Mm-hmm. You could say I'm wrong. You're standing on it. You got and your nuts baby girl, dropped. Baby girl, listen, listen. I've lived long enough to know what the fuck is coming. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm only telling you what I would tell my daughter. Yeah, it looks sexy. Yeah, everybody doing it. But there are fucking predators out there. The same way there are fucking people online right now Uh trying to meet with kids at 13 years old, trying to meet with kids Uh so they can have sex with them. It is stupid, but it's wrong. So what do we tell the women when they see us out? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we all want a woman that carries herself with some respect and all that. But at the end of the day, most men, we do participate with the... I love everybody, but we participate with the hoes. I love hoes. You feel me? I need a hoe. You know what here's I'm saying? Thing, no. So here's how do the women be like, ho- you saying okay, this, so but here's, you ain't so here's entertaining my thing. No, these no, hoes? No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm, I, I love hoes, bro. Hoes are amazing. Hoes are the reason why I go so hard, because I love them. I love hoes. That's not my problem. But I'm saying there's a time and place to be a hoe. Bitches want to be hoes in school now. They want to go to their kid's school with their ass. I'm be like, that's my body. Okay, dumbass. Go ahead. You goddamn right. Like it was a point of time. But top. it's these niggas' fault because they what? They wife in the hoes. A hoe could get wifed. Well, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell everybody something. This is a fact. You could Google this. Mm-hmm. In the eighties, mm-hmm. you know who Ronald Reagan is? Uh huh. His wife's name is Nancy Reagan. Uh huh. You know what Nancy Reagan's nickname in Hollywood was? 
Blowjob Nancy. But she white though, right? It don't matter. No, white people get, be hoes and get married. Black women be hoes and they don't be getting married. Nah, it's not. Because niggas be taking that shit serious. Nah, black hoes can get married too. Black hoes, like, like, dog, I, let me tell you something. A girl like, a girls like Amber Rose and Black Is China. Is she black? She would never be single. She's only single because she, she chooses to be. white though. No, Black, black. China's black, but she'll never be single. You say what? This, you say what? Man, where we filming right now? Where you at? All right, let me know when you out here. All right, <laughs> this nigga trying to join the conversation from afar. Nah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but, uh, but 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 my thing is that Amber Rose look white though. We can't put her in the no, black she, category. No, she look black and she has black bo- a black woman's body. She got a black body, but and that face is black. white. She look black. Her skin is brown. That's, that's if simple. the police pulled up and I got Amber Rose in the car, I'm letting her speak because it looked like I got a white woman in the car. I love everybody. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, okay, so let's focus on Black China. Black China ain't had no problem getting no man. She ain't gonna have no problem. Dog, hoes win. And I'm not calling Black China a hoe. I'm just saying. We love gen- everybody, but she fuck around with the fuck around. That's my point. Yeah. I, I, at the end of the day, I work hard. When I'm done working hard, I need the hoe. For sure. Where she at? But a lot of, I feel like uh, a lot of the hoes be having boyfriends. They don't be getting white. In the black culture, the only hoe that got white nigga, was Kim Kardashian. Nigga, a, wa- she white. A, a white, a white, a white. everybody. In the black community, being a boyfriend is getting wifed. That's why we made the term wifey. <laughs> nigga, somebody, nigga, <laughs> nigga, that's what that's what black men do. We don't want to get married. Somebody, like, this wifey. <laughs> nigga, it's, a, nigga, it's the same shit. It's a, it's, that is your girlfriend, my nigga. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, but hoes will always win because at the end of the day, men are men. That's what I'm saying, and that's the point. So we can't complain about the hoes. Who's complaining? I ain't complaining. We're not I, complaining. I, my thing is this. Here's the thing. You can do all, you. you can do that all you want. Mm-hmm. Whoever's with me ain't doing that. That's what I, that's what I, I mean by like alpha we male. We all say that as men. Because nah, I say the same nah, shit. No, let me tell you something. Listen, listen. Let me tell you something. If you got, I don't know how you grew up, mm-hmm. but my mom didn't play. My mama didn't play neither. So guess Shout what, nigga? So guess Bill. what? So Shout out Lorraine. Miss Lorraine. Nigga, Lorraine didn't play. <laughs> so guess what, nigga? I didn't get in trouble. Uh-huh. I don't smoke weed to this day uh-huh. because I was afraid that my mom would have catch me, uh-huh. caught me, and fuck me up. Mm-hmm. So my point is, is this: is that it doesn't matter what everybody else do; it matters what yours does. My mom was like, "If I catch you, they can smoke. Yeah. If I catch you smoking, yeah. you better get your you gonna get your ass smoked." I see what you see. Said. What I'm trying to say. So yeah. my thing is, is that as a black man that loves my people, uh-huh. I, I I see what's happening, mm-hmm. but I also see that we're going down a a, a, a crazy lane uh-huh. right now, and the lane we're going down, we're being led by women. Women aren't meant to lead. Let's let's talk about how let's so before a woman goes crazy and say motherfucker okay let's talk about how it goes when a woman gets married her father walks her down the aisle and gives her away she yep. takes their last name now she's a part of their family yeah that's what men don't get given away unless you know they gave yeah, we they, get passed we, around we, we don't get given away. exactly so that's yeah. what, so what I'm saying is that the way God sent it and then women want to be men and I'm like bro. The God didn't want it that way. If he did, then one woman could be pregnant by 100 men. But I could fuck 100 women and get them all pregnant. And a woman could fuck 100 men, but she's only pregnant by one. Mm. That's the way the world works, man. Why are we arguing against nature? Because we have options. And that's the problem with us. You got options. You ever ask the girl what she want to eat? Yeah, nigga, it's very difficult. It's egg. Because you know why, nigga? She got options. Yeah. But if you tell her, we going over to this restaurant, she going to roll. We going to over to um to uh, local green. Shout out to my bro Big Zach. She gonna be like, okay, I'll find something from the menu. Yeah. But if you tell her what you want to eat, hour later, I don't know. Hey, ATL, pull up on me. You understand me? July 27th. I'm at the Uptown Comedy Corner. You understand me? It's your boy Lewis Bell, not the help. Come on, feel free to pull up on me. Pop your pee. Come on, we gonna have a good time. Get your tickets right now. Do not miss out. But I, I think, too, because, you know, I was raised by OGs, not IG. You understand me? So, um, like, I feel like, you know, we talking about the women and shit. But one thing we do have to acknowledge, you know, because you, obviously you don't carry yourself like how this new generation of men carry themselves, too. We got to acknowledge, you know, the men is a little off right now, too. Um, do you, What's wrong with the men? <laughs> Why men ain't leaking? Why men ain't what? Why men ain't leading? Because women saying why men ain't leading. I didn't hear leading. Oh, why men ain't leading? Women saying they take control because these men don't know how to lead. That's what the ladies is telling us. I I, I agree. By the way, I agree. I, but I can't. So my thing is this: is that I I see men that don't lead, and to me, it's just 
you don't have to lead, you have to lead the household though. You don't have to lead the world. You have to lead the house. So it's some new shit going on. This whole world is new. You know, women want all the rights and wants to move like men and men are starting to move like women. Yeah. I believe 50 years from now, we're not going to have genders. Everybody's going to be born and then when they get to a certain age, they got to pick what they want to be. Because, and that's some shit that a man think is I'm crazy, I'm not allowing right? my kid to do that. Man, I'm, come on. Nigga, you come you out with black nets, father. I'm picking, hey, you nigga, are you are my black, son. Because you are a black father. Black daddy didn't give a fuck what you thought about his fucking decision. Oh, mamas. You know what I'm trying to say? Just made. It hey, is what it is. you ain't going. And get your ass upstairs. Don't even look at me. You ain't going. Black daddy ain't never thought about, oh, I hope my kids love me. I don't give a fuck if you love me. I'm not here to love you. You're not here for you to love me. I'm here to prepare you for the fucking world. Yeah, because the world. Because the world is going, ass. the world is going to be hard. So yep. that's my point. I just think that, me personally, I just think that I, bl I blame everything wrong with men on women and I blame everything wrong with women on men. Me too. Yeah. On my By, everything, Because my mind is like, if these chicks are dressed like this, it's because niggas are not allowing them to. Mm -hmm. If, 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 a, if a nigga say, what you wearing? We ain't going out. We ain't going out. You dressed like that? Yeah. I guarantee you they'll change. But the dudes are like, I don't want to say nothing to her. So I blame them too. But if you with me, you are going to look the way you're supposed to fucking you, look. Because you, you know, with me. You know what I noticed too? You were saying uh, about, uh, we was talking about, I think it was marriage. You, yeah. you said something about. I think in the black community. Uh, I said boyfriend is being married. Yeah, boyfriend yeah. is yeah. being married. <laughs> that, exactly. That's a caption exactly. right there. <laughs> uh, uh I feel like a lot of men feel like they got to get hella money and be successful to get married. Because I feel like once a guy get his paper, he be like, I'm looking for my wife. That's true. Right. But 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 I, I believe that like, OK, so I had a couple of women in my life that held me down when I didn't have nothing. Mm -hmm. And people say, why do you end up with them? And like I got like one thing about me, if you follow me, anybody know I'm honest with myself more than I'm honest with anybody else. And I remember thinking like I didn't like who I was back then. So I didn't understand why they did. Mm. Like, if you like who I was back then, then you're okay with me being that. And I'm not gonna be that person no more. I'm trying to be someone else. You think you can't grow with, not No, not no, no, people, I, you, you but. can, but, 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 but uh, listen, man, let me tell you something. I, before I got my first check in the music industry, two years I lived with women. I lived out of suitcase from house to house to house mm -hmm. with women. And that's the story of every Bay Area. And, and, and I was and I was and I was audacious, my brother. I was telling chicks. I remember telling one chick who I was staying with, you need to get your shit together, or I'm gonna leave you. Yeah. You was boyfriend pimping. I, no, it wasn't that. I just knew where I was going. Okay. And my thing is this like 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 so say if I know where I was got, you at at the time? What you mean? What cities? Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta's beautiful. You from Atlanta? Yeah. Atlanta's oh, I didn't beautiful. know that. Okay, I Atlanta's thought you beautiful. moved to Atlanta. Yeah. Now, Atlanta's beautiful, brother. Uh -huh. I'm I'm from Atlanta. But my point is is that I, hey, you know, I was I, I understand it. I had to drop dick off every night because if I didn't, I didn't have a place to stay. And I needed a car to drive. Yeah. And I needed one of them to pay my phone bill. And I needed one of them to put money in my pocket. Mm -hmm. And they held me down. They All three of them held me down. I was living, I was going from one to one to one. One paper my ass. As soon as you got some paper. See, that's why niggas, Hold that's on, why, hit why, me the, out. Girls, hit that's me why out. the girls, that's why the girls even trying to hold niggas hit me down no more. But hit me out. I don't think a woman should hold a man down. You right. I don't think that's her responsibility. You right. That's that to me. That's another bullshit. Like those women would let me live there. I don't think it was hold me down. I just think that it's good to have in house dick that shuts up to them. I was just gonna say that. And that's what I was. They, they ain't hold you down. They trying to keep you down. They want to pay these. They bills. wanted some dick. So yo ass. You come can here, do give me some I dick. Say. You fuck me good. We good. Cause as a woman, you are gonna have to get out there. And get, if you single anyway, you are gonna go out there and work anyway. So it's either the vibrator or some broke dick that doesn't do what you say. <laughs> <laughs> Which one you want, baby? Oh my I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna drive you to. I was Jody. I was original Jody. I'm gonna drive you to work. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask you to give me your car. So I put gas in the car. I'm gonna go wash the tires. By the time I pick it for work, I'm gonna be right there waiting for you outside. I yeah. did what I had to do. How did you graduate out of that situation? Because most men I got get my comfortable. I got my that. first check. Oh nigga, not me. I got my first. I was work. Dog, I was on the ass. I got my first check. That was it. And mind you, one of them kept, one of them stayed, mm -hmm. one of them had a boyfriend, and he had a whole lot of money. So she was the one that was really giving me the money. She was the one that was like, she, like man, when I think, I was just telling somebody this story the other day. You was kind of fake way, you understand me, pimping on Nah, 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 I was kind of fake way a prostitute. This bitch would, <laughs> look at this bitch would pick me up. No, lot, bro, I'm telling the honest truth. She would pick me up from the corner, because I was passing flyers out. Uh -huh. 
this is crazy. This, so when I think about it, I'm like, but see, here's the one thing I'm going to say after I tell the story. It's very important for the women watching to hear this shit. Mm -hmm. She would pick me up from the corner because I was passing out flyers. Uh -huh. She picked me up from the corner and she would take me to the Red Roof Inn around the corner, uh -huh. get a room, and we would fuck. But I fucked her. Like, uh -huh. you might have more money than me. I might be fucked up. But once it's time for me to put my dick in you, yeah. Bitch, you gonna do what I say now. I'm in control. For sure. And you gotta, fuck, you gotta I, ask and, all, and, you gotta ask for all your favors while yeah, you hitting what? me. And you feel me? And nigga, oh, you gonna you go, you go, you go buy me that lie. car, right? And I ain't gonna lie, nigga. You gonna buy me the car? And, huh? And nigga, yeah, I'll buy me that car, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you the car, daddy. Yeah. Nah, nigga. And listen, I wouldn't do it now. I ain't wanna buy me a car, but I did say I need some money to to eat for the week and give it to me. And nigga, I was fucking like she, I was paying her. Like I was fucking like she, I was fucking like she was a hoe, mm. nigga. Like nigga, whatever I wanted to do to her, that I was is fucking prostitution. Her. That, that I was prost, I was a, pro I was a prostitute. There's a lot of male prostitutes out here too. But I will say this: that was a short period in my life. But I just and know, once I got a check, I ain't right, look back. I just, I just realized this while you talking. It's a lot of male prostitutes out here. If you having sex <laughs> to have somewhere to sleep. You're a male prostitute. Absolutely. Oh. I saw. I think I was the first. I was. I was original. I was. The, I was one of them ones. No. Who was the first male prostitute? I don't know. Stedman, maybe. I don't know. Somebody was out there giving some. Listen. At the end of the here's a hard part. You got to know. I and I blame women for this. And I know it's women listening, but I want to say this: If a black man sat right in this seat with me and you talking, mm -hmm. and he's a billionaire, mm -hmm. and he's telling us he got a hundred hoes. Yeah. And I'm flying private jets with my hoes, and I'm fucking everybody's in a different room. Me and you looking like word. Now he leaves the room, and me and you looking like dog. He 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 lit. He the need. Watch this. Two women sitting here. A billionaire female comes in, uh -huh. and she's like, "No, I don't have a man. I just live my life and do what I want." When she gets up and leave, the women sitting down are gonna be like, "That bitch ain't happy. She ain't got no man." Ooh. Come on, bro. Women are hard. Women make it harder on each other. That's why it's really? so fucked up out of here. Like I don't give. If a nigga single, it doesn't make me feel no kind of way. If I have, if I got, if women be like, oh, you say she ain't got no man? Like, women want to get chose so bad that they allowing whoever f to fuck with them. Now, I will say, I was a beneficiary of that at one point in my life. I'm not going to act like this. But I was giving, I was, I was fucking. Like, I was, <laughs> nigga, I was, I was whatever she needed me to be, I was that. Do you feel like niggas get lazier the more sex, I mean, the more successful they get with sex? Not me. I don't know about them. I, I be can't getting think. a little lazy. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. lie. I, be, I be trying to get road and shit and a I got, little bit. Now, let me tell you why. Okay, so I live in Atlanta. So <laughs> so this happened a while ago. I'm, my reputation is important to me. Y'all Atlanta niggas is freaky, though. Now, Atlanta is just a place. My reputation is important to me. So mm -hmm. I'm just all I'm saying is, is that I remember this one time. I was fucking with this girl. I always had chicks in the city at some, some points in time. I always had women around, you know, off and on, whatever it was. But I, mean, I was fucking with this one girl. She asked me for some money. And I told her I ain't got it. Now I had it, but I just, I'm like, I ain't got it. So then another chick I was fucking with came to me and was like, babe, are you going through some shit? And I'm like, no, what are you talking about? She was like, I heard your money fucked up. I'm like, my money fucked up? What are you talking about? And she was like, yeah. So people saying that you fucked up out here. Nah. I told a girl I was fucked up. So she told everybody. Damn. So if, and if I tell a girl I got a little dick, if I fuck bad, she going to tell everybody that too. So everything, I, every time I, anytime I've ever been with a woman, uh -huh. My reputation You gotta go line. crazy Oh I gotta make sure she knows You right She's like he's a dick But he has some good dick My reputation's on the line That's For all I have sure. Is my name you And I gotta protect her that. At all costs So that means I'm gonna have to You know show. I'm gonna have to show her What it is when I when I was in that when I was in that mode, I ain't been in a minute, but I'm just saying though. This is when I was out the game. You out the game, right? It's, it's not that I'm out the game. It's just I don't play the game. Atlanta is different though, cause I, I I'm new to the new Atlanta. Yeah. Everybody telling me where I'm in the A, man, man, you the A ain't the same. The A ain't the same. Well, it's that, that's because of the violence, and that's because of the gun laws. That's all. But uh, but not only that, if you're an Atlanta nigga, you fit, you straight. If you there with Atlanta nigga, you straight. The A ain't the same mm -hmm. for them for the. I was just telling somebody this today. Mm -hmm. Atlanta's funny because if you gonna get robbed in New York, you usually know the nigga coming. Mm -hmm. Nigga used to come like, come here, nigga. You like uh, Atlanta different. Atlanta niggas would be like, hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Like, Sean, what's up, man? What is that goddamn head? The motherfucker loud. Louis motherfucker belt. This nigga hard. This nigga funny. Funny. Gotta take a picture with that nigga. Give me that goddamn chain. Janky. Nigga, Atlanta niggas is different like that. Yeah. Atlanta niggas is gonna get you. So if you pay attention to the violence happening, the violent people ain't breaking into cars and stealing shit 
on the south side of town, on the east side of town. Not like that. They are. They doing it in the city. Uh -huh. When are they doing it in the city? Because everybody that moves to Atlanta moves to the city. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I got a crib in the city, but my house is a uh, out south. the way. That's yeah. The people I'm connected to be out, out the way. way. That's that's why they don't so have that's problems. Why I stay out the way. Oh mama. Man, my house. You, my mom's house, man. You. My neighbor sleeps with her door open. Like she don't even yeah. like nobody coming to where I'm at. I'm, I'm in Fayetteville. I'm down by where Ross live. Ain't nobody uh, fucking with me. All right, they, they watching Ray. Nobody, no, no. They, they watching Ray. That's cool. I have a security nigga that live with me. Damn, for real? Oh, yeah, I have a, I have a guy that does my maintenance. Well, I live shit, with me. I'm a security nigga. Ray, Ray. goddamn, man. I ain't know you. And then I have a security nigga like that, downstairs man. that wants to shoot. So for me, it's like, but, but but my thing is, I don't even put that energy in the world. Yeah, yeah. That, I love everybody, but I'm just, I'm, just saying love the, everybody. I'm just saying in general that. I'm, I'm from Atlanta, so I moved to a side of town where I know I would not live in Buckhead. Because yeah. I know that's where the little niggas is coming from. Buckhead, they got ghetto. Come on, nigga, it's why is it ghetto? Because everybody moving town want to move to Buckhead. Yeah. Buckhead is out Beverly Hills. Yeah. Nigga want to move to LA, he want to go to Beverly Hills. I ain't never, you might meet a couple of people say, I want to go see Crenshaw. But for the most part, I want to go see Beverly Hills. Yeah. Buckhead is Beverly Hills. Yeah. So that's where everybody live. So that's where how, the young how, niggas is going to steal the car. How Atlanta been running the music industry for. 20 years now because y'all been popping I'm gonna say longer than that around. to me I was gonna say I'm gonna say 29 I feel like Atlanta just I feel like Atlanta got on in 94 when Outkast everybody's dropped. trying to do what Atlanta is doing like having a run or running the music well, his, industry his, his, but his, how his, it's two things that uh, it's two reasons why Atlanta is so popular uh, and the music business works is because in Atlanta we're gonna support each other even if we don't fuck with you like that because the city is always the common denominator that's the first thing. But here's the second thing, which is slightly the most important thing. I don't want to interrupt, but don't beef do help y'all culture though, because Jeezy and Gucci was beefing. Um, you know. But that was but, like twenty years ago. But then you still now, got the about, recent they, beef with you feel me? With, 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 yeah, but that but that was that was a big deal. How about this? That that beef followed was followed by indictments. So that lets you know. Which one? I'm talking about, what beef you talking about? Because I, I only know two or three beefs in the city. T.I. Shawty Low. Yeah. They squashed that. And that helped because we was wow, we in California watching this shit. Yeah, T.I. Shawty Low, Jeezy, Gucci, and Lucci and them had a beef exactly. with that. Exactly. With but Lucci in jail. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like that. No, no. Shout out to Lucci. Shout out to Thub. But they, that's what I'm saying. They locked up. Uh-huh. Because yeah. cause Atlanta's just different. Uh -huh. We just different. But that didn't help y'all. That didn't. No, nah, I don't think it helped. Oh, we got another special guest in the building, <laughs> man. He did. He a real superstar. He done pulled up late. My yes brother, my brother, my brother. Let's talk. What's happening, man? Yes, yeah, Stan. Yeah. We send in the building, man. It's been a minute yeah. since you done joined the Cali Kickback, man. You all over the place. Like, come on, man. It's two legends in the building, man. We over here talking about it's three legends in the building. Three legends. Yeah. You right. Come Thank on, you for including me. Come on, come on, come on, come <laughs> on. That's why y'all trying to get you. <laughs> Listen, what we doing? But I was going to tell you, uh -huh. Simba, me and Simba know each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. If Simba called me, and I'm in, how about, I'm in L.A. right now. Yep. If if G, yep. Sim, Simba's right yep. here in that order. Uh -huh. If yep. G or Simba called me right now and said, Ray, we in Atlanta, we need to pull up to the studio to do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. Nigga, the answer is yes. That's how Atlanta works. That's why it works, though. Because we going, my, once you win my shit, my door is open. Mm-hmm. And Simba could be like, yo, I got a little homie there. He a good little dude. I just need him to come record for a little. Done. Yeah. That's why Atlanta works. Because we're going to open our doors to each other. I always say, I always say, like, I t I've been telling him from ye for years, like, the infrastructure is different in Atlanta. Because they get it. It's like, it's everybody got issues. It's issues everywhere. Period. You know what yeah. I mean? People got beef. The thing with Atlanta is they don't publicize their shit. And they yeah. don't I would just tell them that it was publicized beefs. T.I., yeah, Shorty Low, Young Thug, yeah, but they and they ain't let it get in the way of the money. That's like what I'm saying, that. yeah. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. saying. It, 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 it was, it, like, the beef didn't spill. Out, like, let, let's look at Pac and Big. Like, Big got killed in L.A. Uh -huh. Pac got killed in Vegas. Let's look uh -huh. at, the, like, that. Like, if Lucci and them had beef, it was only in the city of Atlanta. For sure. Like, Oh, a nigga come to LA, a nigga come to LA, and it's like, hey, we gotta make sure we. Sh it's different, yeah. and I'm not saying that that happened. I'm yeah. just saying in Atlanta, we just don't do that. But here's the second most important part: why Atlanta is still relevant, mm -hmm. because you two chains still lives in Atlanta. Future still lives in Atlanta. Future got housed in Miami, but QCP and Coach still live in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. When a nigga make money out of Chicago. They he got gone. Dip. You got, but nigga, you, make, but in some cities you got to. You got I, to I'm not saying you do don't. You think you gotta lead a bay? I, me personally, I felt Hell like no. I had to, but that don't mean I can't go back. Uh huh. You know what I mean? That don't mean I can't go back and move. Shit, future moved out here. Yeah, yeah. Niggas time, got everybody got a spot. Like, everybody, like, everybody got a spot. You know everywhere. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah. like at the same time, he ain't never leave his city. That do matter because Atlanta is one of the few cities 
I don't want to say only, but when you go out to the nightclubs and shit, you see the Atlanta artists. When you go to the Bay or any other of these cities, you ain't gonna see the major artists. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something very important. Mm -hmm. Give me some. Give me the biggest. Who's Kendrick? Kendrick is huge here, right? Yep. Let's say, give me somebody else from LA that's not that's 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 known, but it's not that big. It's Kendrick. No, YG is big. He's uh, he's he's in the top five. Big. I just like just like I'm just thinking about somebody who's like let's Nipsey say, before let's he say, passed. Let's say Rayvon. Okay, I don't need, Rayvon. From okay. TDE. Okay, so let's say Rayvon, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's say Ray. No, but he's on TDE. That's only to make it hard. G Perico. G Perico. Let's say G Perico disses Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Does Kendrick respond? No. I don't know, right? He's too big, right? Yeah, he's too big. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. When Charlie Lowe dissed T.I., mm -hmm. T.I. had to respond. You know why? Because the city on the line. When Charlie Lowe said, he saved from the west side, god damn, it must, must be, be too sad. Nigga, when people in the club singing that, tip of his team is like, oh, no, nah, we got the answer to this nigga. Oh, mama, son. But they they didn't the, think they was too big not to. He was like, I'm answering this nigga tonight. The key to that, niggas don't get but, too big for the city. Hold on, hold on. Hell the, no. key, the key to that is infrastructure. Listen to what he said when that was being played in the club. We don't even have clubs to play that shit in. Yeah. In the Bay Area, but LA, Like dude. I always say, we got a limited amount of black people here. Uh -huh. So we don't have black club owners, black restaurant owners. We don't have a lot of that here. So yeah. therefore, we have a lack of infrastructure. Yeah. So our clubs is owned by a lot of Caucasians, <laughs> Asians. Yo, yo, I, I just, I tell you something. I got, to, I was just telling somebody. LA is different. Yeah. I can't believe white people talk to black people like that out here. I don't know why. Oh, oh, nigga, Simba, I was they outside the club, and one of them white guys, one of them, one of them, not even a party from, not even like a, a nigga, nigga, like a white guy that was like, I was trying to get my people in, and a white guy was like, who are you, what are you doing? I said, first of all, don't fucking talk to me like that. Yeah. Yeah. I said, somebody told me to come over there, so before you talk to me like that, go there, because where I'm from, white people don't talk to black people yeah. like that. Oh, mamas. Nigga, it's a respect Nigga, they don't, nigga in Atlanta, like that in, in Atlanta, Atlanta yeah. in Atlanta, nigga, they don't talk to black, in Atlanta, white people don't fucking Play with us. Yeah. Atlanta's so racist, honestly, so segregated, that Atlanta still got black night, white night. Yeah. If a white person parties with black people in Atlanta, they fuck with niggas. Yeah, real talk. Mm. White people party separately, black people party separately. Yeah. In Atlanta still. The reason why I think Atlanta's so po powerful is because out here you'll get lost in the sauce. Elaborate. And Atlanta, you out here you get lost in the sauce. Meaning. Out here you got white party promoters like, who are you? Hey, don't fucking talk to me like that. Exactly. Nigga, I remember I was walking to a club right now. I, I stepped on a, a security guard's shoe. And he was like, "You back up, you stepped on my shoe. Yeah. Back up. And I was like, bro, my bad. And he was like, yeah. Then he started saying something. So then somebody else stepped up. And I was like, yo, be careful, man. You might step on the shoe. I just did. I, and he was like, oh, you a funny guy, huh? I could tell. I said, let me <laughs> tell you something about me. Where I'm from, yeah. you talk to me like that. You know I got little niggas out there that will kill you tonight. Oh, mamas. Yeah. And we love that, everybody. Not, not every, by the way, in Atlanta, yeah. everybody got guns. Oh, yeah. mamas. No, it's if you you know that state. it's open yeah. carry state. Yeah. Everybody got guns. Yeah. So you know you talk to me crazy. You know all I gotta do is make one phone call yeah, and the whole ahead. club getting shot up. Oh, and sorry. the guy that shot the club up ain't gonna get in no trouble. Fix. He gonna shoot the club up and go home. Fix. And that's what you know about my city. Yeah. I can get my I can get my mayor on the phone. I like that. They got too much authority here. Yeah, like, because like, it, cause we we it's a lack of us. Yeah, so mm. we we can't really like push the line. So it's like it's and it's a lot of black people that ain't. Black. But it's racism. Niggas without is brown showing skin. That it's, 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 it's racism. My showing is racism. Showing that, that's racism. It. Yeah. Like remember the other night mm -hmm. we was trying we was looking for something to eat, mm -hmm. right? So I I recently then found a, my first sushi I like. Yeah, because I hate that shit. Yeah, right. But I done found this yellowtail, and I only like it from Katana Tana or, or Nobu. Yeah, or, or it was the other spot they used to have um, over there by the W of West Hollywood, but that's, you're right, Kasuya. though. Kasuya, yep. Yeah. Kasuya, Katano, Nobu, yep. Yeah, the only places I, that I like it from, right? So we was headed to this spot the other day, and they was like, um, oh, no shorts. You can't wear shorts. Mm hmm You know what I mean? So it'd be like all oh, these little guidelines, the things you can't do to where it's like, we really don't want y'all in here. That's their oh, way. Oh, mama's, yeah. That's nigga, that's nigga, that's nigga, that's nigga, listen, they do do that shit on mama's, Listen, let me tell you something. That's how California Y'all remember that? he said, in Atlanta, if they don't fuck with it, they just don't. They bro, don't fuck with us, bro. Bro, don't when, even play with when us. When Houston's, like they thought Houston's was being racist. Yeah, Ti and them shut that motherfucker down. It's still shut down to this day, and it's in a rich part of town. We don't play in my city. Yeah. You don't. If you nigga, we are coming as ourselves, and if you don't want us there, then we just need to make sure the whole culture knows. Mm -hmm. And if the whole culture knows, you're fucked. 
when remember that guy got kicked out because he was wearing white sneakers and him and his girl was arguing. Mm -hmm. Nigga, the first of all, shout out to the owner of the, of the restaurant because that was my guy. But the, his brother owns G Star. Now I walked in the G Star. I'm like, yo, man, you know, I know what it is. Yo, yeah. you good, bro? He's like, yeah. This man taught me for an hour and a half pleading the case. Man, you don't understand, Ray. You know me and my brother. You know we love you guys. I'm like, bro, it's good. That's Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Dog, I can call the I can call Andre Dickens right now, the mayor of the city. I got his number. I call him right fucking now. He can show up to my event. Mm -hmm. That's how we move in our city. Atlanta's the only city where the gangsters, the motherfucking music industry people, politicians, tech, everybody is in the same place. Yeah. If you black, you in the same so place. So do do you think um Atlanta has um like you know like when you think of hip hop, everybody yeah. talk about New York. Yeah. And um do you think Atlanta is the number one for hip hop? Like overall now, like it didn't went longer I, than New York. I can't say now. I, see, I see. I think the internet has changed it. Like Simba's from the Bay, mm -hmm. but nigga Simba's one of the best rappers in the world. Facts. He's not considered the best rapper out the Bay. Yeah. Facts. Because the internet has made the world where there's no, there's no, there's it, there, nobody is regional now. Exactly. So for me, I think that I think, but I say this right here: mm -hmm. Simba can come to. Well, he's different because he's a he's a. One of my favorite rappers, and everybody who love rap love him. Facts. Like you different. That's Dude, why I want. That that's why I want to see you win. But that's why I want to see you win because love. you're almost like you're almost like the young rapper that they all seen and they like, yeah, he a fuck, he a fuck. But you, you, you with us. Yeah. You know, you you're from yeah, our cloth. Sure. But with that being said, Simba can. So Simba's different, but. G Perico, I don't. I, I, G Perico. G Perico. Uh -huh. If G Perico comes to Atlanta, mm -hmm. doors is open for him. Yeah. Nobody's gonna be like, who the fuck is this thing? Will you attack? Atlanta is not like that. Yeah. He come to my, he come to our city. You with us? Mm -hmm. Simba, Simba, I, Simba, my studio work. I'm like, yo, bro, whatever you need. Man, this is how got, we start about conversation. I got, I got records that I recorded in this studio right now that I'm scared to put out. Why? They too big. He ill. They too big. I haven't solidified my underbelly yet. I'm still building my fan base. Yeah. I'm, sti I'm still a discovery act. Yeah. That shit that we did over yeah, there, yeah, yeah. You you was telling me. <coughs> I was telling. I was like, people don't know what I do for a living. Like, yeah, yeah I, talk, I don't really we talk about. We still ain't talked about it. The people can. Fan, Let's get into the, it because the people. If you know, you know. But yeah. there's some people out there like, who the fuck is this nigga? Talk? You feel me? Yeah, they don't him, really know him, what you do because you, you ain't do, no Ray. podcast nigga at all. Yeah, but I, I'm just in the music industry. I. I I, listen, bottom line, who How I am. How did you get it? Because there's a lot of people that say I, they're I, in the music I, I, industry. I, I, I was going to say, bottom line, who I am. Mm -hmm. I say this on every platform I speak on. I know what hip-hop music in general did for my mother and my kids. My daughter has never lived. My son has never lived in an apartment in his life. My daughter has never not lived in a mansion. Mm -hmm. I know what music does for my family. So when you have something that treats you that good, that's why everybody likes Simba so much. Because we could tell he never cheated the process. Mm -hmm. He just said to you, I got a missile. Mm -hmm. And you're like, why not put it out? He's just said to you because I can't cheat the process. And that goes back to what we was talking about with the walking and running. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. He's walking. Yeah. But but you got a couple niggas running like I just might just send me footage of the girl on um, Pound Town yeah. the yeah. shit thrown at her mm -hmm. and I'm like when people can sense you skip the step Damn. they're gonna treat you like that that's why when he comes he's not going away he's in a these artists are in the microwave he's in the oven mm -hmm. We can smell him. We go, damn, that shit, that's him. Mm -hmm. Nigga, he's in the oven. But the other people are in the microwave. And guess what? That's okay. Mm -hmm. But when you in the microwave, you got to deal with microwave shit. For sure. And that's just the, that's what it is. That's some so for me, shit. So for me, what I do is, what I do is, I'm the guy that I understand that I can't afford to miss. I can't, my mother is never driving a school bus again. Mm -hmm. Never. And my, and, my, and my kids are not going to work at Chick-fil-A and McDonald's like I had to. Yeah. Period. Yeah. So because of that, I don't cheat the process. So when I meet Simba for the first time, Simba, I gave G his deal at Warner. Mm -hmm. I signed grade eight. Mm -hmm. So when I meet Simba for the first time, G ain't even there. But I'm just talking to him like, hey, bro, let me tell you what you need to do. When I open my mouth, he can hear my sincerity. Mm -hmm. yeah. He can also hear that this nigga know what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. here's the hard part. When you know what you're talking about, you ain't got time to talk. Mm -hmm. You just talk. You just, when you open your mouth, you, people know it's real. Yeah. So like I said before, when I, even, what I do is hard to explain, yeah. but just know that I am the guy that the labels call to say, Ray, we need help. What I like to look at him as, it, 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 it's, a, it's a term that I would have to say that would help 
the average person who wouldn't understand it get it, but it's much more than what I'm about to say. He's a cultural curator. Yes. He's somebody that understands how to put this record with this person or this writer with this artist or this producer with this person or this brand or this athlete with this mm. person for this commercial. Whatever it may be, he knows how to curate culture. So, yeah. That's a very hard thing to do. The reason I'm late is because I just left a dinner with a brand. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. He told me they're getting ready to pay Arnold Schwarzenegger a shitload of money to try to sell this drink. I said, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not going to fucking make me buy this drink. Mo. Facts. The girl I showed you on Instagram the other yeah, night, she'll make I me pulled buy her page up. Yeah. I said, now if I seen her with this shit, I would want to buy this drink. Facts. And I think we're in trouble. And what you just said is why I think we're in trouble. That's why, like... Like, that's why I'm in the position I'm in. That's why, honestly, like, I'm better than 97% of these niggas, niggas at labels. Right. Niggas and white people. I'm better than them. I, you can't tell me. I'm, I know I am. My track record speaks for itself. When I, I left Warner, mm -hmm. since I left Warner, Sweet ain't had no hit. So I left Warner, because the last hits was me. Best friend and tap in. That was my team. That was me. No, no, hit me out. No, 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 hit me out. But I heard Sweetie, a new. You had I, to tap I heard, in with the tap I heard, in. I heard a new single coming out. It's another record that we did when I was there called Birthday. Uh -huh. But here's the point. Uh -huh. The point is, is that I, I, I'm better than those guys. So when I see, no, no, I was getting back to my point. So my company's called LYI, Leverage Your Influence. So what I was trying to That's tell. That's the people, management company. No, I didn't want to do a management company no more. Because the problem, the re the thing was, was that every time I walked in a room, artists wanted to work with me. So I had to find a way to interact with them that wasn't permanent. Because I don't think I'm, I don't have the, the I don't have the passion in me to go 15 years with an artist. Mm. I don't have that passion in me. I have the passion to get you to that point where you on the stage and everybody singing it word for word, and I'll be like, yo, whatever you, you need, it. hit me. Hit me. Hit, always hit me. But I'm gonna go over here and do something else. Mm. I just so that's why I started an agency rather than this. But here's what I want to say. So, and this is what I don't get. This is the problem with the music business. This is what we don't do. So, BT about to get sold, right? It's gonna get sold for what? A couple B, couple Bs, right? Mm -hmm. For sure. I, I okay. thought Tyler Perry bought it. He is, but I'm saying, but he they didn't announce it. The internet announced it, but he hasn't officially oh, announced okay. it. Okay. But point is, is that it was it was some billions, right? Uh -huh. Okay, cool. But if you look at BT, BT is worth billions. How much is Shade Room? How much is the Shade Room worth? The shade room is to me has to be to me it's at least worth a hundred million, at least to me. That's what I value it at. But here's the thing: BT is worth ten times the shade room. Why? Because that's how the system sees the world. But if I ask Simba right now, I'm gonna give you a choice. Matter of fact, all three of us, we all are out here doing what we do. Mm -hmm. If we somebody came in here, and said, I'm gonna give y'all a choice. I'm gonna put you on BT every day, or the shade room gonna post you every day. Ooh. Which one do you want? Shade room. Shade Don't room. Shade room. Eggs. So For that. Sure. So guess what that says? Uh -huh. The shade room has more influence than mm -hmm. BT. Mm -hmm. That's why our company is called Leverage Your Influence. So what I'll tell artists is, I'm like, so when I see Simba, I see first thing I say is he's a rapper. He's from the Bay. Yeah. It's the first thing I gotta count. So now when I'm looking at him, I'm like, how can I Remember we figured that out? How can how can we let him wrap his ass off? Yeah. But also say he's from the bay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so sweetie, for example, yeah. well, we knew Best Friend was the biggest hit, uh -huh. but she made two remakes already. She made the Kaya record, mm -hmm. um, with, with the My Neck My Back record, uh -huh. and then she also made Rich Nigga Eight Figure, that's my type. That was a Lil John record. Mm -hmm. So we did tap in because we like, she needs to come with a record that tells the world I'm from the bay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why it starts with two shows. Don't never stop. If you, that's why we did that. It was like intentional. So when I'm making records with artists, I'm always thinking intentional. What the fuck are we trying to communicate? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You good? Yeah. What are we trying to communicate? So when I see Sim, I'm like, he can rap. Mm -hmm. But we in the microwave era. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear rap. Mm -hmm. So two, two options in my mind. Either you can go the Wayne route, which he can, yeah. where he does the no ceilings and he takes other people beats and he eats niggas alive. He could do that. Sure. Or he can do another kind of cheat code where he makes a record that says, I'm from the Bay. And I'm from the Bay and I can rap. Mm -hmm. And all I would say to Simba is, rap on the other, if, if I'm saying, I'm gonna say on the other 12 songs you have, rap your ass off. Mm -hmm. Give me two while I let the hook come first. Mm -hmm. And then you rap. And, but we only gonna do 12 bars. Oh, I could do, just give me 12 bars for right now. Uh -huh. Dog. Jada Kiss is one of the greatest rappers of all time. Yeah. After we gonna make it, he he never had to rap again, and he still would be one of the greatest. Mm -hmm. If you listen to like how they did it, like what, how, what the fuck, what like up? it'd be alright though. You know, bad rappers get better promote. Dead rappers get better promotion. Like them niggas was spitting on that shit. What but up? the reason why is that his probably one of his biggest songs is because the fucking cadences are so short. Mm 
The, oh. So now it's like you. Four bars, you. Four bars, you. So, four. You can so now, I have, you, now, I have, now I have to focus on what you're saying because it's different voices. B people get bored quick. So yeah. Pete this. So uh -huh. Pete Gart, uh -huh. when y'all ask what Ray Daniels do, hold on, let me let her, let me let them pass. I'm about to say some real shit. Oh, mamas. When y'all ask what Ray Daniels do, this is why there's no number one rap record. This is why there's no number one rap album. Everybody talking about that on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. What's missing today in rap is the black executive that understands culture. Boom. We don't have Dame Dashes. None. We don't have Irv Gotti's. We don't have these people who was telling Hove the same shit that he just told me for me to get up and go to the studio yep. and apply. It's everybody telling us to do some shit that worked for somebody else that's not us. Exactly. So this is why hip hop is so microwave and it sounds the way it sounds today because we can't differentiate what's best for different artists. You don't think, and and you don't currently, think. if you look at Billboard Hot 100, the number five, the top hip hop song is the number five song is a record that we did all my life. J Cole, Lil Durk. That's the top rap song in the world right now. See what I'm saying? But here's the thing, though. It's a it's a method to the madness. My team did that. It's a method to the madness, and they don't want people like me in the room because then he's looking like, well, I don't need y'all, I need him. Exactly. And that's what they don't want. Exactly. Oh. You need them. So for me, it's like, that's why I started a podcast because it's like, hey, bro, y'all can't quiet me. I'm too fucking good at what I do. I'm going to put content out and watch what happens oh. and look what happened. Makes so for me, sense. so for me, it's like, I feel like I have more power than most 95% of A&Rs. Yeah, because you're my, showing but, your but, influence. Uh, but I'm showing what I know. Yeah. See, here's the one thing about b music that makes it hard. When Simba has to sign, was you connected is different. I'm not gonna use you. Yeah. An artist, when I signed Enderly Chopper, he met with every label. Uh -huh. Every label. He picked the label that we gave him the most money. That's just honest. Mm -hmm. He probably didn't pick the label that's best for me. For the, by the way, that's what you're supposed to do. If you are an artist, go for the most money. I, I, I don't want to interrupt, but what do you think is more uh, wiser for an artist right now, to be independent or to be uh, on a label? It is no. It is absolutely no difference. It is absolutely no difference. Uh, there she go. There it's she no go. difference. Hi. How you doing? We go in this room right here. Hi guys. It, it, this What's up, uh, champ? this motherfucking uh Cali kickback thug shit. You, you might as well this give her a mic. Shit going on, man. We got. We got. Oh no, we uh we gonna do another one. Okay. Yeah, but for me, but for me, the the problem is that so when I work with artists, uh -huh. I empower them. Uh -huh. That's the problem in the music business. They're afraid to empower artists. Because mm -hmm. if you empower artists, then he's looking like, I don't need you. Yeah. So it don't make no difference if an uh, artist is signed or not signed. Let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. How many artists have got signed for going viral, got to a su successful second single? Hmm. Lil Nas X, that's <laughs> the last one I can think about. It's very few. Very few. But you gotta think, labels have changed their whole business model to chase that. And then now that's not reacting like it was two years ago. And the reason okay. why, and I and I asked this because you recently was on. I, I forgot what I don't know what platform it was on, but you were speaking on behalf of um, the label situation. Like, why is it wiser instead of being independent? Oh yeah, and, and then you got some you got some backlash on people saying like, oh, you're not wise for one to own your masters. Yeah, because what I was saying was. What's the point of owning 100% of nothing? nothing? If I can give a piece of something up mm -hmm. for them to help maximize my visibility, why not do it? Mm -hmm. So them motherfuckers who got something to say probably making $3,500 every six months off their music, but talking about I'm an owner. <laughs> but what about the I'd people that partner. is successful? I, I seen... I Even wanna... the people that's successful, Nobody right? successful would say that. No, I, I Tell don't want to name Tell, drop. Name me. one. I can not, say, Slim Thug says something on the comments and basically... No, was no disrespect. Slim Thug's not successful as an artist. No disrespect. Talk about it. I yeah, with... we got to talk yeah. about that, Ray. Okay. Speak on that. No, 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 I'm not dis... Listen, uh -huh. I, I like Thug. Like, yeah, I like... Yeah, yeah, I like I like Sister Incredible Feeling. I can name Thug songs. I love Thug, but mm -hmm. Thug is not successful today. That's why I said you, can, you can't tell me a successful artist said it. Thug, Thug is a legend. You can't tell me one person that's 100% independent. Uh-huh. And not only that... that sell out just... Yeah, Every, superstar. Yeah, and not only that, Thug is from Texas. Young, I'm you can those, be independent in Texas. Texas, rich. Texas, Florida, California yep. are the only three city states in the world where where you can make a million dollars and you never have you to leave, leave outside of things. It's Facts. enough. That's why it's we enough get room. Slept on. Facts for sure. 
Facts. Yeah. So and then it's also a thing. I'm speaking from my my opinion mm-hmm. and my perspective. I'm not saying you got to do that. Yeah. If that works for you, that's what works for you. For me personally, I'm from the Bay Area mm-hmm. where there's a lack of black people and the way I rap doesn't relatively resonate to what they're doing over there. Exactly. So I had to leave and find outsourced help to bring more awareness to who I am yeah. as an artist. Yeah. And, that's and I no, understand. That's no, that's no coincidence why New York is my biggest market. Yeah. I go through that with Sonny Bo and Louis Belt. Yeah. He don't even probably know who the fuck Sonny Bo is. He but know exactly know who Louis Belt is. Yeah. I'd rather this nigga know who Louis Belt is than, yeah, I love bro, everybody. Here's the crazy yeah. part, bro. When I worked at a label, I didn't have no hard, hardly no interaction. Like, I never interacted with Sweetie outside of being in the studio saying hello. I was behind the team that was in the room and in the office making the decisions. But now, I have more relationship with artists than I ever had in my life. Every, all the artists fuck with me and follow me because I'm telling the fucking truth and I don't want nothing in return. Like, I'm not a nigga that's like, yo, Simba, this is what you do. Mm-hmm. All I want, man, win. Because like I said, I start off, I know what music did for my mother. Mm-hmm. And I know what, if, if he wins, what music gonna do for the people he with. And I know if you win, that's how I look at us. Yeah. It's like, we ain't gonna be able to establish nothing. Like, I'm not, I'm not mad at white people for winning. They've been winning for a long motherfucking time. They just have control. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, hey man, we need to get our wins up. Mm-hmm. And the only way we gonna get our wins up is if we stand together and help each other. Yeah. And it's that simple. Yeah. Okay. Like, it's that simple. So for me, it's like, it ain't no bad shit. It's just, but this game is, making it in music is so easy. It's, hit me out. That's hit me tough, out. Cause it's no, a lot of niggas hit me that out. rapping. And hit me boy, out. Boy, they, boy, them niggas stomach growling right now okay, so, watching this so, motherfucker. So hit me out. They're not good. <laughs> bro, let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> See, this is shit. This is, it's this, not, it's, you don't think. They're not good today. Man, I've been telling you this shit for You be years, saying this. Man. You be saying this. They're not, it's they're crazy good. cause Maybe I didn't even know y'all did. Yeah. No, 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 no. Cause he know them Yeah, no, no, they're not good. They're not good today. They're not good today. It be terrible. It, it's not good. It's not good today. It's not it good today. Terrible. It's not good, bro, bro. If good doesn't have to sell itself, that's why. I, once again, this is why I started a podcast in the first place. Because I was like, you don't need money. You just need to be great, and you need to know who you're talking to and who you're talking for. He went into me. Uh-huh. I don't know nobody that don't fuck with Simba. Nobody. Sure. Nobody. The only the only thing that's in front of him is the bullshit. Exactly. Uh-huh. So it's kind of like. It's kind of like, you know what it's like? It's like, yo, yo, Lewis, oh man, you hungry? All right, cool. Man, I can feed you now some McDonald's or, you know, we can wait three hours I'll get some Mastro's. He's Mastro's. Yeah. They're McDonald's. Most motherfuckers gonna pick McDonald's. Okay. But he's winning, and here's the thing I'm saying, he's winning, but here's why he's winning. You pay your bills with music, right? Yes, sir. He's winning. Mm-hmm. That's what I mean by winning. It's, he's, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just bought me, my mama, my uncle, and my other uncle tickets to the fight July 29th and my auntie was crying. She's the biggest boxer fan. This has been the most happiest moment of my life making money off music. That's amazing. Let's get around for some silver. Come on. Yeah, but, 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 Pop your but, shit, here's what, but here's what I'm saying. He's making money doing music. He's living the dream. Yep. Bro, see, we be so focused on... When my life changed and I stopped focusing on the destination, I stopped focusing on the journey. He's on a journey. We all are on a journey right now. Yep. The only time you're unhappy when you're like, I'm trying to get there. Yep. Man, fuck there. Yep. If you keep walking, you don't get past that. Keep going. That's some real shit. Yeah, bro. Like this, it's the journey, bro. Like we be. That's why I said it's winning. He's winning. Yeah. By the way, I'm not. He's winning. He's gonna keep going up. And I want to be one of the catalysts on his journey. That's it's like the Wizard of Oz. He on a yellow brick road. He gonna stop at my stop. I want to give him some, and he go further up. Yep. That's what I want to do. That's what yeah. I've been my whole career for anybody who I've interacted with. Yeah. Period. So for me, it's like music is easy, bro. The music is only hard because you're overthinking it. If you naturally do, it's like, man, come, I'm just gonna say this because we talked about relationships too. Yeah. When when we started fucking, did we need help? Nah. You got some pussy and just figure that shit out, yeah, right? I'm in it. I, you got, I, you, I was you, looking you, down behind. You, nobody sat you down and said, "Here's what you do: move your hips like this. Right. You put your shit." I remember the first time I was fucking out. I, I didn't know I could fuck right. till I put my dick in somebody. I was like, "Oh shit!" She was moaning. I'm like, "Fuck! I'm good at this." Oh, mama. It's, See, I knew I could fuck. I didn't know I had a big dick. <laughs> I'm like, "I got a big dick." They moaning and shit. I, I, said, I, I, said, I, I didn't know I couldn't dance So first thing, I can't dance So first thing I think is like I don't know if I can fuck I can't dance Then I had my sex For the first time And I was good at it Point is is that Some of y'all are just mad Y'all can't fuck yeah. It's just that simple right. So go what is, Listen go find a way Like I got some shit I said Cause I gotta, I gotta go to the airport I got some shit I said I said to everybody Here's the reality That every human is facing Including everybody In the music business You got three options You can stand in line And wait 
You can pay to skip the line or you can stand out in line. It's only three options that every last one of us have. This podcast, you stand in the line. You're trying to get it, so but you're in line. Now, you might be able to do Simba come. That gives you a look. That's standing out in line, yeah. right? You might say, hey, go some money for ads. That's paying, uh, skip the line. Yeah. And I said, when you figure out when it's time to pay, when it's time to stand out, yeah, and when it's time to wait, line. you'll be fine yep. in life. Yep. That's some shit. Yeah, that's bro, because it's, it, it's, it's so, it is not hard. It is. It's hard if you. If, it's hard if you're not talented. No, no. Because you saying the niggas that can't make it. You don't have to be talented. But what about y'all? Y'all said if a rapper ain't. If it's hard, he ain't made it. He suck. He not good at rapping. No, 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 no. no. There are rappers who made it that suck too. Yes. They just have figured out how to make a song. Mm -hmm. The song is the gas that takes you far. That's that simple. Mm -hmm. He his superpowers. He can rap. Yeah. The one thing he hasn't done yet is make the song the world want. Uh -huh. But if in rap, rap caviar, yeah. that's rap caviar right Facts. there. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But guess what? He ain't in no rush. Mm -hmm. Cause he, cause it's like you know what it's like. It's like fucking. When I know I can fuck, I ain't trying to get married no time soon. I'm enjoying fucking. Yeah, cause that's what I'm. Cause doing. once I get married, once, once, I, once I get married, yes. nigga, I gotta fuck one person or sneak around. I wanna fuck another Ass. person. And when the nigga, pussy, let me just enjoy my fucking. Enjoy fucking. And, and when the He's pussy, fucking right now. He and when the it. pussy is good, <laughs> you in no need to bust a nut. Yes. Ooh. And you want no rush? rush. I like that one. one. No rush. No, it's like, bro, this shit is, yeah. bro, this shit is not hard. We make it hard because we're overthinking. When I told people, I'm like, I want to start. It, I'm saying, I want to put content out. I just put a mic in front of me. I just showed you clips of me talking without a mic plugged in. Yeah, yep. I don't care. Yeah. I'm not afraid for y'all to laugh at me. I, I'd rather you laugh at me because at least you're looking to not notice me at all. Yeah, remember, I be, I be saying that all the time. Like, yeah, I re, I recently did some. Yeah. Um, uh oh, and, uh oh, we got they, some more motherfuckers they was coming in there through. talking about um, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. like, you can't talk about Michael Jordan like that. Say, hey, oh, you talking KD? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know I said, yeah, but bro, talking bro, about bro, 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 dope shit. Dope, don't, dope don't have to work. Dope don't have to work. Yeah. I swear to God, I didn't see. Oh, the first time I saw Simba was Dallas. Yeah. Now, mind you, Dallas shout out Dallas. Man. Dallas posts all his Dallas. artists, though. He posts all his artists. So, what, like, Simba was the only thing he posts? He posts all this shit. That's what he's supposed to do, yeah. right? First time I saw him, and I was like, oh, this nigga can rap. And then I saw him on Flex. And then guess what he did on Flex? That no, he called Flex out. All, once again, this goes back to my three. Guess what he did? Dallas posted him. He's waiting in line. Flex, po he go to Flex. He stands out in line. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you out, nigga. That's standing out. So now Flex is like, damn, nobody ever did that before. That's standing out in line. Yeah. He makes the steps necessary to fucking win. Moments. It's moments. That's all it is, bro. But it's knowing the moments. Yeah. Yesterday, I'm not going to say the name of the platform. I went to a platform. They wanted me to do a freestyle. Uh -huh. They put on a specific beat, right? Uh -huh. I left. Now they thought I was being an asshole, but what I told them was the beat y'all picked won't allow me to give y'all the moment, moment y'all yeah. think y'all finna get. Yes. Yeah. So this doesn't make no sense yeah. because anytime I do this, we make it a moment. So how about we try this thing in two weeks and y'all find another beat that makes sense? Facts. Period. That's a fact. Dog, all you gotta do is be dope. I I I, I got a roll, but it's a book that I, I suggest everybody read. It's called Buzz Marketing. And what what Buzz Marketing taught me was that you don't need money. You just need to be dope and stand out for being dope. Mm -hmm. And the rest will work itself out. Mm -hmm. As long as you do that, you're fine. Most of the time, these artists don't work because they want it now. And I'm like, isn't it fun getting there? Because mm -hmm. once you get there, where you go from there? Exactly. Now, guess what? You know, I tell artists, I, I, I have a, uh, I have a, uh, 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 what's that? What's that thing when you turn it over and the sand goes in? Hourglass. Hourglass. I have an hourglass in my office, and I tell artists, I'm like, the minute that you start winning, hourglass turns over. Mm -hmm. Time's running out. So guess what you got to do? What you don't realize? You got to keep putting fucking sand in the fucking glass so that way they don't run out. So it's the game. It's the game. Little pump has made has won, but why does it feel like he fell off now? Right? Yeah. Because he ain't putting, he ain't putting out shit. Yeah. It ain't that. It's just. But he might not have been an artist. Some niggas are just influencers that made a rap song. It's comedians yeah. like that. These Some people are comedians. They they, they they skit guys. Makers. They great skit guys. They not. That's my. But they that's okay. Yeah, that's, that's okay. okay. Yeah. The point is, 
tap into your superpower. Mm. The reason why I started talking is because since I've been in the music business, dog, I'm, last thing I'm gonna say, when I started managing my guys, I swear to God, I'm not lying, I didn't know what a publishing deal was. And somebody said, y'all get a publishing deal. I was like, how much did we can get? 100 to 150? I'm like, shit, I can, we can get 300. We get 300. So I go to a lawyer, Donald, like, we can do a pub deal. How much did we get? He said, man, you guys got some buzz. We probably get like 250, 300. I'm just calculating my 20%. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get some money. Dog, we sat at the table, me and my guys, and what I'm doing right now is what I did for everybody. Nigga, two weeks later, the deal was at 1.5 million. Because people, my our lawyer was like, I've never seen people command the room the way y'all do. Mm -hmm. Ray, they love hearing you talk. Teron, you say the right thing. Timothy, you say the right thing. This is incredible. That's because I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm be real with you. Something. I was like to him, I said, Yo, man, hey, get us. We didn't get half a million. He said, I just text such and such. I want 1.5 million. Here's the crazy part. Somebody came back with two million, mm -hmm. but we shook somebody's hand already. Nigga, I was trying to get 300,000. Point it, even when I started this podcast, I didn't start this to make money. For sure. Dude. I started this because I'm in Atlanta and I need niggas to know I'm better. And it's either I'm going to go away quietly or I'm going to make noise on the corner. Mm -hmm. Nigga, give me a mic. Watch me make some noise on the corner. Mm -hmm. And if I start making sense, people going to gather around. Does, if people start so. gathering around, motherfuckers going to start looking and being like, damn. My thought process was how many rappers I signed that want to meet Gary Vee? Gary Vee don't know shit about music. No disrespect, but Gary Vee ain't made a fucking hit in his life. Mm -hmm. Why y'all wanna meet with him? You know they wanna meet with him? Cause he shows them he cares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Me, that's why he's in good hands. Cause the dude that's the head of his label, Dallas Martin, he yes. cares. Sure. Now if you look at these other labels, the motherfucking people at the top don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Mm. You and a text right off. And that's, and not, not, or, or you a way for me to get my bonuses. Yep. And at that moment, I gotta drop the mic and head the fuck out. Man, it's anymore. Ray Dales in the motherfucking building, man. I gotta do this again. By the way, I, by the way, I, I, I want to do a show with Simba so bad because I feel like I'm the fucking executive version of Simba. Yeah, hey, 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 man. Nigga, hold I'm on, a, hold on. I'm talk, I, I gotta talk my shit. Hold on. Let me give myself some credit because that was the exact move. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, soon you told me I pull up Simba coming. I'm like, man, this nigga been talking hey, about soon, doing it. Soon, so, soon as so. I see you, and then I'm like, all right, we we're gonna lock in. I'm like. Simba, yeah, and it was crazy. I didn't even know y'all knew each other, yeah. But you know, if yeah, you know, sure. you're supposed to know, so for I'm sure. not surprised, for sure. But I'm just like, yeah, it's just it's one of them, nah, yeah, bro. Yeah, it's, yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. But bro, like this shit is easy, bro. Just be dope. I'm the rap. I'm the exact version of Simba. Facts. That's it. It's, 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 say, uh, I ain't cheating. And the, and the nigga, I, I know. Is, I know Simba can't wait. I know Simba be like, like I, I, I. I what's your sign? Aries. I, listen, I already know for a fact. Uh -huh. He ain't got to say this. He ain't got to confirm this. If it's Every rapper, fucking where he at or right in his vicinity in the same place, and they like, we gonna put a beat on rap. I know Simba's like, nigga, this is my motherfucking moment. Yep. Yeah, and you know, that. some rappers are like, I don't do that. Yeah, yep. yep. That's my point. That's and, what these and, comedians, and, 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 niggas and, ain't performing. And, and let me tell you why I say I'm the Simba. <laughs> let me tell you why I say I'm the Simba guy. Because <laughs> when I sit in the room with an artist <laughs> and they say, what's the plan? I can't, I can't wait, wait to say, to I got the, I got fucking, the fucking plan. plan. And I know most executives would be like, let's just figure it out. And that's why I say the fucked up part about the rap game is it's more me and less of him. Yep. Everybody want to be the rapper. Yep. Nobody want to be great at coming up with the plan to help the rapper. That's what we missing today. That's what the fuck we. Man, missing. I wish I could stay, man. I'm mad. I'm, yeah, I'm man. Ain't no more, no, more, no, no, no more flights available. Ain't no more flights available tonight. I always stay. I gotta get this flight. We gonna do yeah, it. Yeah, no, nah, man. My this, brother. This, this, the, this the first of many, man. You now, now, listen. Let me tell you something, man. We are superheroes. There are people watching us right now saying, look at them, I could do it. And those people are usually people from the ghetto. Those, those people are usually people from the ghetto that don't have confidence. And and seeing us and hearing our stories about how we from the ghetto, but we still here gives them the confidence to get off the porch. And if that's what we do as men, nigga, we are saving our communities. We is. Come on. Man. My nigga, man. On, man. You understand me right there, you, man. Appreciate you, hey, man. Hey, man. Uh, Love you, favorite nigga right here, man. Know. I can't wait to get you on the show. Where we got to do this. Glad to see you. Whenever you come, as soon as you come, nigga, I don't even, you ain't got to give me no heads up. I'm in town. Yeah. I, 